Hi guys, welcome back. This here is now a Patreon video because we had a question inside of the Patreon area and I thought it's a good start here to show some videos only for the patrons. So one of our patrons asked what if I want to use Blender in conjunction with other compositing solutions, for example, Fusion or Nuke. And the idea behind that, so I understood it like that, that you stabilize, for example, your shot and you do your stuff in Blender. Then you find that you want to make, for example, Roto in external applications, for example, Fusion, Mocha, Nuke, because you have better tools there. But then you have to bring these rotoscoping plates into Blender and you have to match move them so that they fit exactly into your Blender world. So it's about match moving external stuff. And yeah, for this example, I use here our extreme example, which we had at the end uh, from this scene, you remember. With this setup here, I demonstrated to you how to stabilize a plate. This is the result after this here. See, this is the stabilized version. And then I showed you that the stabilize um, node also have an invert button. So if you stabilize with the same data and the data is stored in the movie clip, uh, you have your original plate back. It's not 100% your original plate because you have two times a B-cubic uh, calculation on it. So you lose a little bit of quality, but you see now everything matches. And now comes exactly the question. What if I want to bring something out and back in so that it fits? So for this, I made a little example here. Uh, first things first, I deactivate now this node with the M key. So I mute it because I need here the stabilized plate here. And I hooked up the composite node. So I write out now an image sequence which is stabilized instead of Blender. To do that, there are different ways of doing it. File output node is one way. Other way is I use the composite output here. So I went here in the output settings set a path here where I want to store an EXR sequence. So don't forget the pound signs. And I write this here out. So you go to render, render animation, and then Blender is writing out all the files, which are looking like this here. And after this was done, I then went into Nuke here, and I read this plate in. One important side note, and this is for all the compositing applications, make sure that the project settings are really matching. So our original plate here from Blender is HD, 30 frames per second from frame one to 151. And so I press the S key here over my node graph and I make sure here now, frame rate, uh, frame range, sorry, one to 151, frames per second is 30, full size format is full HD. So I set this up so that you have now the same result in Blender's compositor and also here in Nuke. Let's cache that. And you see, yeah, that's the plate. One little side note here, Blender doesn't output uh, areas which are outside of the frame. So there's no concept of the bounding box outside of that. Uh, you see here, this footage is cropped, but that's not the problem here because we want to work with this data, which is only in the stabilized version. We want to roto here and so on. And this is the only thing we output. We never output the original plate anymore. So what I've done as a little example is I went here to key light and I made a little key here on the screen. It's a green screen key. And then I want to deliver to Blender. And I was thinking how to deliver best to Blender. And the easiest thing is make RGB out of that. So I want to have a black and white image. You also can pack channels together if you have more than one roto, so one information, for example, the red channel, another one in blue, the other one in green. But for this easy example, I took a shuffle node and I delivered the alpha, which the key generated into all the channels. So you have everything. Yeah, the same. This is inverted because before that it looked like that. And I want to have that. This is the white area in the alpha. This makes sense uh, to insert something here. So I inverted that and then I added a right node and I write out exactly this as an image sequence again. So this is screen XR and I have written everything out. So let's go to Blender and load this image sequence. So Shift A, input, 
I want to have an image sequence. Here we go. This is screen. That's exactly what we have written out from Nuke. So I select the first frame here and import sequence, place it here. And now comes an important part again. Make sure that all the frames are found, 151. The start frame is one, same like in Nuke and in Blender. So everything seems fine. And if we hook this now up here with our uh, Node Wrangler and we scrub here through, that's exactly the result we had from Nuke. So this is our Roto. And next things would be now that we say, yeah, we want to first check if this here fits. Question is, how has it to fit? This here is the roto for a stabilized version. So we have to fit it with this stabilized version, which is that here. This is the stabilized one. So bring this to the right so that it doesn't confuse. So this was the stabilized one. So let's make something here out of that. Mm, let's say we make a new input, we make a new image. So let's go here to texture. No, not texture. Let's make an image new and we name this. This is our insert. This is only now an example that I do something with that. Uh, we can have that, for example, full frame or so. It's not so important what we have. Yeah, but yeah, make it full frame. We don't need an alpha for that at the moment. That's it. So this is our image which we want to use. Now we have to inject this roto into that. So we want to use uh, this alpha for that. Yeah, this is now a little bit Blender compositing ideas. Uh, for this, we use a set alpha node. We say this is our background image. And this is the thing we want to use as an alpha. And if you go now here, you see now everything is gone. Yeah, now you only have this red thing because now you use this alpha here. And yeah, that's it. Okay, now we have something. Let's go here and say we want to have an alpha over. Alpha over is the same like a merge node. So alpha over. The background is the first input. So this here is now the stabilized plate. Here we go. It's white because we have a second input here, which is white. And here is our plate. And now you see they should match now. Yeah, and you see, yeah. So we see that now we see the connection between these two worlds. This here was made on a stabilized plate, so that's the reason why it now fits here on a stabilized plate. But now comes the heart of the question. The question is, yeah, but I don't want to place my rotos on a stabilized plate. I want to place them on the original plate. So how to do that now? So let's kill this node here, control X. And now we have the original plate. This is the original one without any quality loss. And now we see it doesn't fit anymore. But what we now can do, and this is the trick, you remember we had this stabilized node here, which was showing exactly the same movie clip. So we hooked up the movie clip in which the stabilization data is stored. But to make a match move, we have to tick here in BERT. And that's now exactly the thing we are after. So what we now do is I take this here and I first place it. So let's get rid of that. Place it after we constructed here this insert here. So this guy here, this here can be an image or whatever you want to have. But we have to move it now exactly in a match move manner. So place now this here. And if we now go here, you see suddenly this red thingy here is moving. And it's moving exactly like the original one. So if you go to alpha over, and move that now here, you see, that's now the match move. So that's the match move option here. And so you can use all the rotos which you do externally and place them really easily here. This here was only to demonstrate how you use it. If you only use this alpha here, you can do something else with that. I hope this explains a little bit this workflow here. 
If you have more questions, please let me know. I was happy to help you. Have a nice holiday. See you, Helga Mouse.